guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival. And it's gonna be a very good episode in this one. Cause in this episode I'll make this cool cave looking thing. And a surprise visit for my chickens. It's not gonna be a good visit. I'm very sad you have to see this. I'll start with this one. A cha. You got that one. Now I'm in the pen. I'm sorry you have to see this. It's a very sad day for these chickens. And my ratio to chicks to full grown chickens is very low. Ended up with four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seven. Seven chicks. It's not a good ratio. But I got a lot of meat and feathers. Hopefully they grow quick. So I don't have to wait. I'm gonna throw a flower in there. Rest in peace, chickens. Got my mutton cooking. I'm gonna put my chicken in there. Let's go eat my mutton. Cause I'm hungry. Well, I was almost close to death. No, not really, but I need food. I need to have a food shelter, food shack. Anything that works. Usually I get chickens out of this. Let me see how many I get. It's one. Oh, he's out of pen. It's two. So I got three. I was very fortunate to get three. I need to lure him back in. Come on. Come on. Get back in the pen. There you go. Now grow with your little brothers and sisters. You don't have any parents. So I guess you gotta depend on one another. Well, there goes what, what was left of their parents. Pretty horrible. Sorry, I need to change my steps from stone to from cobblestone to stone steps because it looks better, looks cleaner. I'm gonna make a bunch of pickaxes so I can go uh, mine or make that cool cave thing that I was talking about. It's gonna be really awesome. It's gonna two two caves going down. I'm gonna go one up that hill because I need a. Planning on making a house up there. Making three houses surrounding the area. Kind of like checkpoints. I'm making a house up there. I can dig up there, it's pretty easy. It looks nice up there in the clouds. My house looks so tiny from over here. Look at it. The moon and everything. Looks so amazing. This is how much I got so far. I'm not gonna make it a whole lot bigger than this. It's gonna be like, like cool. It's gonna be, it's gonna look like, I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't know what to compare it to, but it's gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna work on it. It's gonna be amazing. As you can tell, I added another door and some cobble. It looks very interesting inside. Look at it. It's awesome. I don't know, I might change it, but I'm gonna line this part with torches and line the bottom part, the sides with water. It's gonna look pretty cool. But I'm gonna keep working on it. I might change the design. I don't know if I want to change the design because I kind of like how it looks right now. But more than likely, I'm going to change the design. I do like what it looks like. It looks awesome. I'll keep working on it. I'm going to put torches here so uh, creepers and skeletons don't spawn. make a I'm gonna go ahead and carve the whole thing out there shouldn't be anything across the mountain I don't know I don't know anything about what's in this mountain 
because I'm digging into a mountain. I got plenty dug out already. So wish me luck. So I actually made it to the mountain. I found a cave. And I found some cows. And I feel like I should make a wheat farm. And I use cows and kill the chicken instead. Because there's plenty of cows out here. And I could make a cow farm. For my resources. I'm not going to kill the cows right now. Because I feel like it would be a waste. So I'm going to keep them safe. And hopefully they don't despawn or anything like that. But I'm going to kill the chicken. So more cows will spawn. Something else will spawn. Just gonna kill the chickens, collect the eggs, collect the feathers, collect all the food that I need. Hopefully, the cows don't run off or despawn. Because I need to learn back with wheat. I need to get some lead. So I can put them on a fence post or something. But here's the cave I came out of. If you look carefully, I didn't light it up too good. Ooh, zombies, 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 zombies. Can't die, can't die, can't die, can't die. Three of them. There isn't a zombie spawner nearby, is it? Because I want to use a zombie grinder. Get an XP farm going. Need plenty of XP for enchantments. The enchantment system is a whole lot better in 1.8. Because of... You don't need to go a little f level 50 to get the best enchantments. And all you need is like 15 bookcases, I think. Oh, skeleton, skeleton. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, I don't want him to bow and arrow me to death. I'm just gonna work on this cave right here. I actually dug over there. That's whenever I found it. I was like, crap. There's a cave in here. I knew it. I knew there was a cave or something. I wasn't sure where I was going though. I found it eventually though. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve all this out. Or mine it all out, whatever. Whatever term fits what I'm doing. So sooner or later I'm gonna mine that all out. I feel like fighting that zombie and skeleton that's out there. I feel like fighting them and getting some XP. Cause this XP is gonna be a once in a lifetime thing. So if I lose it, I lose it. No. Get this going. Got it. Now I'm gonna go see if I coast is clear. Hopefully the coast is clear. Just wait a little bit. I'm gonna go check it out. Hopefully I don't die off camera. Okay. I'm gonna go check. Wish me luck. I'm gonna mine this out first though. I'm gonna go check. I'm so scared. So I see some monsters outside near my house. I was thinking about going back and storing my materials over there. Now I, feel, I don't feel like going back and storing my materials back there. Oh yeah, I never, I never went back and killed those guys. I'm gonna do that right now though. So my way over there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there right now and teach this skeleton. Who's boss? Oh, oh, he got me. God. You got me. I'm gonna show him, I'm gonna show him. Not to mess with me. There he is. I'm healing, which is a good thing. How far is it down there? I can't even tell. There's a bat flying. He won't hurt me. I'm gonna go down there. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. I've seen it on the wiki uh, that they say uh, when you get closer to a skeleton, you manage to he manages to shoot faster at you. So for each time you step closer to him, he shoots faster and faster. And that doesn't sound good. And since it's hard on hard mode, I feel like he'd kill you quicker. So I'm gonna dig my way down and go go and see if he. Goes over here so I can slice at him. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, God. Got him. I have won. So, I finally made my wheat farm. Like I said, I was going to two episodes back. 
This is a cool trick that I learned. Infinite water source. You put it in the middle. You just go ahead and do that. I got an infinite water source. I think it's easier. Sometimes I lose count of it. And I don't know where, which is which. But I'm pretty sure I have a good clue what I'm doing. Let's make an awesome wheat farm. So I can finally go get those cows that I was talking about. Oh wait, go back, switch, there you go. Go ahead and fill. You truly only need like two, two buckets of water to do this awesome trick. And I didn't do it right. Okay, there it is. And I'm right. I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and till all this. Let, it, let the soil soak. Because that's what the water needs to it. I didn't find that out that the soil gets wet until I had Pocket Edition. Like Minecraft Pocket Edition. And one time I had water going in my house. And I had tilled the grass. And it was getting wet. I didn't know what it was. No lie. My crops were always dry. I always grew them on dry. And they were never in water. They were always grown dry. And they grew very slow. I got frustrated. I never knew why. But now I know what it is. So I'm gonna get a bunch of seeds. There's plenty of grass out here. I feel retarded because my garden is very, very far from where my house lives. It's not that far. It's like 40, 50 blocks away. My house is right over that ridge over there to your right. I'm not facing it right now, but it's all the way over there. If you hit tall grass, you can see the the flower. You can see a flower. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna keep planting. Hopefully, I have enough. Those chickens are following me. I'm like slaughtering them. But they didn't do anything wrong. They're just hungry. And they're following me. Stop following me. Getting plenty of seeds. For my garden. Ooh, an egg. Just gonna get more seeds, more and more seeds. This is the last part of this is the last part of what I was doing today. Just to make chicken food. Get chickens for food. Make my cool cave thing. Get some armor. And then finally make my wheat farm. So I finally did what I was supposed to do. Wheat farmer is almost ready. I don't know if that was enough. It's not gonna be enough for another side. Missing three. Plug one punch this grass, and there's nothing that's gonna come out of it. I missed that one. I missed it. I'll go back to it. I like I'm gonna punch this grass for now. I missed my. Like, Three or four back there. There's one over there. I have enough. I have plenty. I have plenty. And my wheat farm is complete. There it is. It is complete. It's my wheat farm. I think that should be it. Join me next time in another episode of Hardcore Survival. Have a good day.